looks like we came out to about 13 pounds of boost, 13 and a half on the access tuner. That's just, you know, partial throttle, nothing crazy. That's what's really cool about this 6870 and the way that this motor is built. The way the motor is built, you know, it has very little airflow restrictions. It's been opened up uh, pretty much as, as much as possible. The only thing that uh, is really a restriction at this point is the OEM throttle body. But with the Process West intake manifold, race ported heads, oversized valves, uh, big primary tube headers, equal length headers, you know, this thing breathes really well. And then it's awesome. You can see with this 6870, it's kind of misleading sometimes. People think, oh, it's going to have turbo lag and, you know, big turbos are not good for the street and, you know, Subarus aren't drag cars. It's like, well, this thing still does great on the street, as you can see. I mean, just light driving, you know, kind of light acceleration up to about 4,200 RPMs and you're already building 13 pounds of boost. may not seem like a lot, but you got to remember the volume of air that this turbocharger moves compared to a smaller turbocharger at the same pressure uh, is substantially more so this is a pretty good road for doing pulls on it's really straight it's flat i can see all the way where i'm doing a pull i can wait till there's no traffic etc um, there's no cross streets nothing but fields on one side for legal purposes, I mean, we are in uh, the old cliche, we are doing this in Mexico, south of the border. So let's see here, I think this guy's gonna, yeah, he's gonna turn too, darn it. I don't have enough room, there's too many cars. We're gonna pull over here. I'll wait till there's no traffic and, yeah, I'll wait till there's no cars here because uh, I will state too, we're going to do this on the lowest boost map. So this thing's tuned all the way up to 48 PSI. It really didn't pick up a lot between like 43 and 48 PSI, but it does have a 50 PSI target kill map. And I have run that and it is, uh, frankly, it's pretty scary. It's very fast. Um, 900 horsepower and 730 foot pounds of torque in one of these light cars is no joke got to know how to drive but today we're gonna do I also have some other maps this is um, the 30 psi target map it usually hits between 29 and 32 pounds that's you know having a four port boost controller they can be a little weird sometimes got another car pulling out down there and we're also not I'm not gonna rev this out to you know 9,000 rpms right now either so the street map I run the most is this 30 PSI map. If I'm going to be honest, because I, this motor's built to handle over 1100 horsepower, but I would like to get some good use and miles out of this. So 30 PSI is still well over 600 horsepower running E85 in this thing, which is plenty of fun on the street. And then I've got a 36 PSI map. But depending on the atmospheric conditions, it'll boost creep all the way up to 40 PSI, which is a little bit more than I want to run on the street. So this 30 PSI map seems to be plenty of fun and keeps me within a real safe boost th threshold. So enough talking on my part. Sorry here, we're just kind of sitting waiting on all these cars. Now it's probably a decent time to go.
starting way below the power band. Uh, we're starting at 3,000 RPMs. If you were doing a roll race or even launching this car, you know you're you're not gonna you're not gonna start that low. You're gonna downshift. If, if I was roll racing, I probably would have grabbed all the way down into second gear and then real quick banged it into third, wrapped out third to probably about 110, and then um, jumped into fourth for the rest of the pole. Still logging there. Looks like we hit about 31.7. AFRs looked really good. When I first tipped into it, they were a little bit on the lean side, but we're also throwing a lot of timing at this too. this hill a little bit so you can kind of see how it does. 